Hi, this is Blair Pleasant. I'm in Phoenix at the Aspect Analyst Conference, and with me is Jim Fries. Jim is Chief Marketing Officer at Aspect. And Jim, uh, we've been hearing about a lot of changes at Aspect in the past year. Can you highlight some of these changes? Sure. Uh, a little over, about 14 or 15 months ago, an entirely new management team came into Aspect. The company, quite frankly, had uh, uh, a kind of a disconcerting strategy that really wasn't uh, um, that wasn't gaining traction in the market, and uh, the board decided they wanted to bring in a new management team. Uh, uh, one of the first things the new management team did was take a look at the strategy and uh, determined that it wasn't the right direction for the company. So we uh, embarked on a whole host of initiatives designed to uh, to write the strategy of the company and to to execute on that. So a whole host of things have changed, not just the leadership of the company, but our message our brand, our look and feel, the product portfolio, tremendous investments from an internal R&D perspective this year, uh, over the past 12 months I should say, we've dramatically increased internal R&D, as well as doing uh, significant investment in purchased R&D. We've made changes across the, uh, the company in terms of the systems we use, we've changed the culture, we have a new corporate mission, so everything at Aspect has changed and it's all uh, uh, changed for the better. Uh, the company uh, this, past, uh, this past year has had the first year of growth in uh, uh, probably three years, so we feel pretty good about where we're at right now. Okay. Well, one of the changes is that you're making a big move to the cloud. So can you briefly describe your cloud offerings? Sure. So uh, I think it's, it's, it's uh, fair to say that uh, most traditional software companies and most traditional software spaces are really starting to uh, embrace the cloud. The reason for that is customers are increasingly looking for ways in which they can move technology that has traditionally been in their own data center and has often been expensive and difficult to manage uh, and difficult to upgrade to the cloud to be able to take advantage of the economics as well as the ability to take advantage of new features more often by leveraging cloud infrastructure. That's certainly the case in, in, uh, in the contact center space. So we have made significant investments in uh, taking our traditional product portfolio to a hosted environment. And in addition to that, I mentioned that we've been active in the uh, uh, in the um, uh, acquisition space. Uh, we've invested in terms of purchased R and D over the course of the past year um, a uh, almost 160 million dollars to buy not only products like the Voxeo IVR multimodal self-service capability, uh, the proactive outbound capability that came with a company called Quivox. We've made investments in uh, Silicon Valley companies where we've licensed technology that are allowing us to uh, roll out new services like Zipwire, which is a completely SaaS-based contact center in the cloud. All of those investments are now being uh, delivered in part of what we got with the Voxeo acquisition, which is a global data center infrastructure. Data centers in Europe, throughout the US, as well as uh, in Asia Pacific. But in addition to getting the data center infrastructure, we also got a network operations uh, center capability, process procedures, and a massive telco infrastructure that allows us to connect to, to many, many different traditional telco providers to provide traditional voice services. So huge investments. We're very excited about the very broad uh, cloud portfolio we now have. So what do you see as having the biggest impact in 2014? I think a number of things. I think uh, a couple of things. One is continuing execution uh, against the strategic initiatives we put uh, in place a year ago. Uh, we're not done with everything that we want to get done with, with respect to uh, strategic uh, uh, initiatives that were d d defined over a year ago. We've made tr uh, tremendous progress. One of those, as an example, was our movement to the cloud. A uh, lot to do to continue to take our portfolio uh, um, into the cloud and to grow that, in, uh, that business. Um, but the key to us is continued execution and integration of the investments and, and uh, assets we've purchased over the course of the past year. Okay, well thank you and congratulations on all the acquisitions and big changes. Thank you.